Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can do all the CURD operations in ISP.NET MVC application like inserting, deleting, updating and selecting the records from the database to the MVC application. So I'm not going to concentrate much about the UI part. Uh, I'm not going to do the, say you the basics of MVC but I'll just say how the flow exactly. I will just give you example. I'll just show example and I will uh, show you how the flow between the database and the uh, MVC goes and how you can do all the uh, transactions from the data uh, you, MVC application to the database and again how you get the data from the database to the MVC application and show it to the UI so I'm going to explain you all about that so uh, to start with uh, usually I, I'm planning to do everything with this person table so here if you can see I'm having a person table uh, to this person table I'm having columns person ID person name and person address so with this table I want to do all the CURD operations so uh, right now if you see I'm having like one record for this table I mean in this table I'm having only one record and so what I'm just I want to use this table for that uh, all the in this example so to start with uh, I want to create a new project that is nothing but MVC application and select ASP.NET web application or name it as MVC curve okay and select MT1 I, I just want to show you everything from the scratch I mean I'm not I don't want to use this MVC and I use the predefined UI I mean whatever it is default UI I, do, I just want to make it from an empty thing so I'm selecting the empty and selecting it in the MVC form of framework and clicking OK it's creating the project So first I want to add a person, I mean I will be showing how you can insert a person record into a database table from the MVC application. So for this table I need to add a person, I need to insert a record called person record from the MVC application. So for doing that I am going to show you in this application. So for getting connected with the database and for doing all the operations with the database from this MVC application. I would like to use entity database first approach so after creating okay if you can see uh, the application is created successfully I want to build it once and build started Yeah, the build is successful and I want to add a new item that is nothing but the entity uh, adding adding the entity framework like adding the entity database post item so for that go to add a new item sorry I will show you again add go to add and go to new item and here if you go and select the option called data here and select the first option ADO.NET entity data model and I want to name it as person context and adding it uh, use this option usually there are four different options the first option is the one uh, which is like database first approach I mean uh, you already have a table in the database so you just need to use that model in your application to do all the transactions and retrieval from the database so for that I can use this option if you want to do uh, everything from the code itself like creating the tables in the database and everything from the code itself you can use you can choose uh, code first from database it is nothing but like you can do all the uh, you can create the tables and you can uh, create the columns in the tables from the MVC application itself if you select this option actually I made a series of videos regarding this course code first approach entity code first approach in my channel so if you want to learn much about that please visit my channel and you can find the playlist of code first approach from database 
so for this i'm using uh, entity database first approach so i'm selecting this op uh, this option here click on next and create a new connection uh, so the server name will be the uh, your server name here from the database so this is my server name copy that server name and paste it over here and i'm making it as windows authentication if not windows authentication just give the username and password of that server and you can get connected to it and i want to select the database so uh, i'm having that person table in this ajay tutorials database so i'm selecting the database and just click on test connection test connection is succeeded so you can click on ok so it will create a by default it will create a item in this mvc application also it will create a connection string in your web config file and it will get the model i mean i'm choosing the entity 5.0 to make it simple and select the table that you want so i want to have this person table i want to do all the transactions all the things with this person table so i'm selecting this table and click on finish so this is nothing but it retrieves the all the information of the database after you create after you give the connection or uh, uh, details it retrieves all the tables of that uh, thing and it adds to your mvc application this loading Oh, so here you can see the person uh, person data model is here which is having person ID person name and person address it's the structure of the table so if you can see that item is added here person context so if you go into this person context CS class so this is the this is the class that you, you have to use for doing all the uh, operations with the database table i mean the person table and this is the property that you go you're gonna use for that person table to retrieve to insert to delete and do all, whatever operations with that person table this is the property that you're gonna use for using this property you're gonna use this class object so let's leave it this year and uh, i want to start the mvc application now uh, so for that i will add a new controller uh, and it has person and adding it so I want to add the controller and I will start the UI thing first of, first of all the first thing I want to do is to add a person so how I'm gonna show you how you can add a person into the database from the MVC application so for the uh, in the person controller the person controller is created now in this person controller I want to uh, uh, create an action method like public action result at person and I just want to return a view so I think you know the basics of MVC so I'm not explaining much about that and so for this I'm adding a view and name it as a add person and leave it so here you can see the view is added successfully uh, so what I want to so I mean when we call this action method it actually turns this view it's nothing but you have to give the view name here add person that's it just give the view name just pass the view name to this view method so that whenever it comes to this action method then it will render this view I mean, this is just the MVC bit thing and that's one thing and so if you go to the 
a person view here i want to use a model i mean before that go to models i want to add a person model actually it's like a uh, which what all uh, columns you are having or what all uh, fields you need you need to create a model in mvc and that is nothing but a class so for that i'm creating a new class i'm creating i'm saying it as person model dot cs and here i want to add the properties like i just want to add person name and person address why because the person id in the table is auto generated it is like it has identity property i mean it will automatically increment its id each and every time when you record when you add the record i mean while creating a table you can do that options you can set that options to the column so for that thing i'm just using two properties here like person name and person address okay here is my person model already so i want to pass this person model to the view so for that i will create a person model object use the namespace creating object of that person model and i will be passing a empty object so this is the first time first time it is loading right so for that thing i'm passing an empty object to this person view person add person view so here yeah, i need to use the model here i need to give the model as person model I mean, you need to copy the namespace. It's same. And we see our model. So yeah, just give the model type here, so that whatever mod, whatever model you're passing in this view, it comes and you can use that in here in this view to populate the data or to do anything with that model to this view. So. i want to start i want to create a form and give the action action is nothing but it is the link after if you submit a form where actually it have to go so for that thing i want to create another action another action method and i will use this http post http post attribute on top of this action method and here i will be expecting a person model object so let it let i mean so this is nothing but the first action method is the one which will return the view and it will return the view with the empty object and the second action method is nothing but from that view if you submit the form then it comes here and it gets the data in this object and you can insert the data from here so that's the reason uh, we have two action methods here so so let's create the fields i mean let's create the form and let's create the fields in the ui in the view so for that i'm creating a form so for the form you need to give the uh, action method name forward slash the controller name and you have to give the method type which is post so i'm giving it as post and close the form so for the tag person i mean i need a person i need a text field for the person name and another text field for the person address so for that thing i will create a by using this html plus you can automatically create the html elements you know like instead of you are doing the coding in html you can do using c sharp it is a it is a kind of a simple way for creating the html elements in mvc so you can use at the rate html dot uh, it's text box so i mean 
you can use this property actually text box for so this is nothing but to that model for which property you want to create the text box for you need to give using the lambda expression so like i such that i dot person name i mean it's nothing but like model model such that model dot person name that is the so i'm creating this uh, text box for this person and property so this is the way you have to give uh, in mvc for creating uh, any text box or anything for any particular property of the model then this is the way you have to follow for uh, doing that thing so for the person i have created the i've created the text box and before that i want to add a like just a label like person name and uh, after person name i want to have this text box so i'm using that one over there this is for person name and this is for i want to copy the same thing and paste it for the person address and change it to person address so my two properties are ready now and i want to have a submit button here value equal to at person so in this form whenever i mean usually i created to i mean nothing it's nothing but in this form i created two text fields the one is person name and the other one is person address i have created two labels and i have a input type of submit this is this is nothing but this is like a button so when you click on add person it have to submit this form this data this form data to of this action with the OEO. so and i just want to make you make something clear here so if you see this one this is nothing but it is a html element so i want to show it's like input type equal to text and the name equal to person name id equal to person name so if you see this will render this element this is nothing but at the end this will render this will render this thing in the ui so in the mvc you can use this html helpers for making it simple so i just want to show you what exactly this one does here so that's the reason i have created this one and i just want to comment this one i mean this is just for making this thing clear okay let me save the changes and now the form is ready the next thing you have to do is to go to the controller and here you will be getting the object whatever whatever you submit in this form whatever you submit from this form this data the person and the person address will be in this so whatever you submit from this form you will get the data to this action method in this object so whatever data you get in this object you have to insert into the database so for inserting into to it into the database uh, initially we created this more context right you have to use the person context class i mean just create go to this i just want to copy the class name for creating the object of it so to go to the uh, the person context of CS file and copy that thing and you have to create the object to that context class I mean I'm creating the object for this context class because I want to use this property so as I said before whatever operations you want to do it from the MVC application to the database in the using entity framework you need to use this property so for that thing I created the object to this class uh, uh, it has context object 
context and by using the property I can the, get the property by using this object I can get this property so to this property I want to add a it's nothing but I want to insert a person record right so you can use this add predefined method for adding a new person object so I'm using the predefined and here you need to pass a new person data model the person data model is nothing but it is auto created data model when you are adding the entity framework so it is having these three properties so you have to pass those things so I'm leaving the ID as now why because ID is auto generated in my database table so I'm just passing the name person name which is nothing but object or person name and I'm passing the person address which is nothing but uh, object or person address and that's it and you need to change save the changes after all the if you do any transaction you have to do the changes save changes that's it so it, this is nothing but whatever data I'm getting I'm adding that record to this people property which is nothing but this is like that table you are inserting a record to that table so we are having that I mean I'm passing the person this is a person model Oh, this is like that table model so I'm just mapping this person object with this person and I'm inserting that record to this uh, people property nothing but the person table with them it will insert a record whatever you're doing from the UI whatever you're typing from the UI it will add that record to the person table here in the database so let's run this one and before that I want to keep a breakpoint here to make it clear So it's loading. So here you need to give the controller name and the action method name slash action method name. this is the MVC thing so it's nothing but controller name the controller name is only this one not including the controller and the action method name so I'm calling this action method from the URL on enter if you want you can give the default URL in the road config dot uh, cs file also so here I'm giving the person details like ajr and the person address is of Hyderabad and clicking on add person so as I said when you click on add it have to come to this it will hit this action method why because you are posting the data to this action method I mean in the form or uh, you have you have given this thing right the action when you post the data it goes to this action method and the method type is post so it comes here and if you see the object so you'll get those data whatever uh, whatever data you fill in the form and submitted that data is here in this object so it's simple I mean from here you can you got the data from the UI to the MVC application now the thing you have to do is to insert that is the database table so for doing that I was using this entity framework approach so let's see how it goes Was that's it click on continue okay and um, now let's go to the database and let's check uh, whether we got that record here or not so here if you can see the second record which I inserted just before it was successfully in the database so you see guys it's working it's working fine as expected so whatever you are inserting here it is getting whatever you are filling here it is getting inserted to the uh, database table so it is nothing but whatever application it may be the flow is like this UI to database and the database to the UI so let's enter let's insert another uh, 
I'm just keeping another record, I'm just keeping as test to test place, and let's add the person. So, uh, okay, we have to reload that one. Something went wrong. So go to the URL again. Test to test place. It, it came to the breakpoint. Just click on continue. Let's go to data. So here you can see we got the another record also. So it's working fine. The add person is working as expected without any issues. So that is about adding a person, adding a record into the database from the uh, MVC application. So in the next part, I will be explaining about how you can uh, how you can display all the records of all the records I mean now you can display all these records in the MVC application in a grid or in a table that way so for doing that uh, we want to go to the MVC application again and stop the application so for displaying the person records in the MVC application I want to create another create another action method why because I need another view I'm naming it as display persons so returning a view I just want to add a view display persons okay so I want to pass the view name here I mean usually if the action method name and the view name is same then no need of passing it again uh, or else if the view name is some other different you need to pass it uh, in this view action view method view predefined method it's a best practice to pass the view name always uh, to this method so that's the reason I'm passing it okay so So what I mean, this is nothing but to display the person records, right? So for that thing, I've created a. If you see this person, display person view is added successfully. So for that view, I need to pass a model that is nothing but the person records. So for getting the person records again, I want to use this. person entities context object and by using this object our person records sorry, person records is equal to context object dot people so this is nothing but so this way you can get all the person records to this person records property and you can store in this person records property and you can uh, you can pass that object to the view pass that model to this view so that it will display on the u in the ui screen so i'm passing the person records so before that i want to convert this to a list to make it simple so person records so this is the model that I'm passing to this view okay so coming to the view so here I have to display so this is the view so to this view you need to you will get that model you will get the person records and you have to display that in this view for that I'm just giving the model type here uh, it's nothing but list of person this person is nothing but as I said this is the auto generated class which is generated when you are adding the entity framework 
entity core first uh, entity database first of course when you're adding that item this class will be automatically generated based on the columns of your percentage from the database so that is that thing and I've given the model type and now I want to create a table I'm giving it as a border as one so in this table I want to give the table headers I want to create a row first make this row table header person name person address person ID so this is the header of this table I mean just I'm showing the names and then after I want to show all the records I want to loop all the records of the person collection and I want to show it in this table so for that I'm using for each item from the model so yeah so I want to add trait that each item for one row and I want to populate that item data in this or TD fields so I want to have three TDs first one item dot person ID the for second thing I want to show for item dot person name third thing I want to show item dot person address so this is a table I mean it's nothing but whatever model collection we get I'm just showing it in this table and I'm iterating each item with this TR so that I will populate all the records in the table right so for that reason I'm doing that thing so so from this action method if you call this action method display persons then it returns this view by passing the person's record model as a model and it renders in the view by this thing so let's run and let us whether it's working or not display for this is the action this is the URL for getting it uh, for calling that action method so it's running that one it's loading so we have to expect these three records in the grid right so if you can see it is loaded and if you can see the table it is having all the records that is in this database table so it is populating all the records from this database table successfully to this MVC application so it's fine I mean so far add person is fine and displaying the person records is also fine it's working as expected so in the next part I want to show you how you can update the details of the person so for doing that I want to stop the application first so for doing that I want to create another action method edit person here I will expect a ID person ID as the object And I will return a view. So I want to add a view. Speed person. Passing the view name. And going to the person. 
so yeah it's nothing but the first thing i want to do is that whatever i mean whatever person id i get here to this action method i want to get those details based on that id and i want to show it in the edit uh, view in the ui so that the user can edit the uh, those fields and he can update he can submit the updated fields and we can save that in the database so this is the first action method of edit so for just showing the details already existing details to the ui we are using this action method so here i want to get the uh, person details of this person id so for doing that you can use the link you query i will store it in person record so from item in so we need this context property again so instead of uh, creating this all time i will just create one set once this set globally so can use it in all the action methods right so it works so context object dot people where item dot person id equal to equal to person id so this person id where the item dot person id equal to the person i said i want to select that item if you want to learn much about the entity framework and this linky queries i've done few videos in my uh, i've done few videos and you can check them in my channel so i want to select the first element i mean out of this collection there may be more number of records right I, so i want to select only the first option first record and so this is nothing but uh, based on this person id you are selecting the person record which is matching that id and you are storing in this person record object so i want to pass this model here okay so the action method is ready now i want to populate this person details data in this action in this view so for that thing i will go to add person and i will copy this form so i got is almost similar to that thing and the model is nothing but it's more model or it's this person it's it's again the auto generated property as i said before or else you can use this uh, yeah this is the auto generated uh, class when uh, when generate i mean it, which is generated when you are adding the entity framework so so uh, this is the i mean this is our view at for the edit person for showing the person details so here if you see i'm again having two text boxes which is having person name and their person address in one of each and i mean having a submit thing and just i need to change this one to edit person so why because after doing some changes and after sub if i submit the form i have to go to the action method which is i mean i will create that action method now so this is nothing but this is the form so when you call this action method edit person by passing the person id it will render uh, this view by populating all the person details of that id and after you do some changes to those uh, existing fields and if you submit i want to create another action method to receive those details and to save it into the database so for that thing i'll create another action method Here I'll receive a person object, so I'm creating the passing the person object to this uh, action method, and I'm returning the view. So here I want to after editing, I want to uh, return after saving the changes. I want to return to the display persons. So I'll use this thing. 
So after saving the changes, I want to do this thing. So before that, I have to save the changes, right? So here I will get the updated changes of that person object and I have to select that person record again. So I'm just copying that thing. So it is nothing but based on the object or person ID. So we get the, all the updated records here, right? So for that ID, for that person, first I'm selecting that person. First I'm selecting that person record based on this object ID and And I'm updating, I will be updating the person name of this record to the one that I received to this action record. I mean, just go on this coding, it will be clear after I run it. I mean, for now, just assume that I'm updating the details. Text of save changes. So this action method is HTTP post. So this action method is nothing but whenever you uh, give the updated details of the person in this view and if you submit that one then it comes to this action method and you get all the details all the updated details to this object so the, after you get the details you are selecting that record uh, you are selecting the existing record based on this uh, object id and to that existing record you are updating the new record new data for the existing record and you are saving the changes and once you are saving the changes you want to repeat direct to to the display persons you want to read you want to show the persons i want to show the person grid again so for that thing i'm returning this view by getting the person records again and i'm passing that model here so it's simple friends if i run this i mean it is little bit confusing here but it is simple if i run and you can understand it very clearly if i run it once so i'm saving the changes so this is the view and before that i want to give the link so for this edit person i want to give the link in the display persons so for each record there must be a edit record so if you see this is the grid right display person so i want to have another column here and in this column there must be edit link so if i click on that edit link it have to display this uh, this person details so, uh, this person details in a new window and there I can edit whatever I want and I, if I save the changes then it have to update those new changes to the database and it have to again come to this uh, display person so, the, so that is all about the edit person thing so for that thing I want to add another column so this one will be a link HTML dot action link So here you need to give the action method that is nothing but edit person it's edit person it's edit person so i will get to this action method and i have to pass a person id right so this is the action method and i will also give the controller name and i have to pass the person id here so for that thing i will use item so copy this thing so for this thing you are giving right so this is nothing but it creates a link each and every time for each and every record uh, which passes which sends this uh, value to the to this action method and you get the person id here and based on the person id you will get the, all the details of that person and you will display this edit person view by passing that model so let me save changes of edit person this is like 
से पर्सन और अब ए पर्सन एंड इन द डिस्प्ले पर्सन आई एडेड दैट लिंक सो एवरीथिंग सीम्स टू बी फाइन लेट्स रन इट एंड टेस्ट इट व्हेदर इट्स वर्किंग एज एक्सपेक्टेड और नॉट So, oh, I made a small mistake. That's nothing but uh, go here. So, to this action method, first thing is the link text. The first parameter is the link text. So, I want to give it as edit. That's it. So, let's run the application now. The edit person is ready, and let's run it and check it whether it's working or not. Uh, so, here the my link is also ready. And if you see this action link, the last uh, parameter is object. Space HTML attributes. So for that, I want to pass an null. I just want to pass something blank, nothing. Okay. And so everything is ready. Let's run it and test it whether it's working or not. Like. So before that. This is nothing but if you want to pass any HTML attributes, then you can pass in this by giving either it like either it ID equal to or something like HTML ID or something like that. So right now I'm not I don't want to pass any attributes to the HTML element, so I'm just giving it as empty here. Okay. So the display persons the grid is loaded and we got the links as expected. Uh, so let me click on this link. Yeah, correct. Successfully, we redirected to the edit person details. So here, if you see, this is the record, and if I click on edit, I'm getting these details in those text fields, Ajay and India. So what I want to do is now, I just want to edit it to Ajay R, Ajay Ready, the name to Ajay Ready, and India, comma USA. And I want to update it. So before that, I'll keep a breakpoint so that it will be clear. So it have to come to this action method, right? Why? Because I'm redirecting to that action method from this form edit person, and the method type is post. So let's click on update person. Yeah, I came to this uh, this action method, and here you can see I got the data. I got the modified data here, and uh, what I will do is. So I got an exception here. Let's check what that exception is. Oh, sequence contains no elements. Oh, the thing because here you are not passing the ID, so you are you have to also pass the ID here. So for me to pass the ID, I will use HTML. Dot hidden I mean it's nothing but whatever you are I mean if you are submitting something to the action method then it must be from all the fields so yeah I have to also have ID person ID so for that thing I'm creating another field it is a hidden why because I don't want to show the person ID to the user so I just want to create a hidden field for the person ID so it's nothing but model such that model dot person id person id okay now let's reload it again okay before it was throwing it was sending a null value to the controller action method so that's the reason it threw the exception for us why because it cannot find a null record in the database table with that thing store Sorry, it's to display persons. Loading. 
I'm going to the grid because there is a link for me, right? So click on edit. So I'm changing it to Azure AD USA. Let's click on update. So let's check whether I got the ID this time or not. Yeah, got it. I got the ID now. And let's. Yeah, so based on that ID, I got the existing records. This is the existing record from the table. So it is like first record, which is ID 1, and the name is Ajay, and the person address is India. So I got that existing record here, and I'm updating these new details to the existing record, like India, USA, and Ajay name to Ajay ready. So it was updated successfully, and now I will be changing, I will do this save changes. And I get the person records again, and I'm redirecting to the display display persons view by passing the collection persons record object model. So here you can see it was updated successfully. The first record from Ajay to Ajay ready and India to India from a USA. So guys, if you also check the database, so it is updated successfully. So everything is working fine till now. Add persons, edit persons, and. Uh, display persons is working as expected now uh, the last thing is left is uh, the delete person so in the next part i will want to explain you how you can delete a person record from the mvc application uh, to the database so for that thing right now if you see in the display persons i'm having like uh, all the columns for the person details and the another column for edit link and the, i want another column here for delete link so for doing that Go to the persons uh, display person view. I will copy this same thing of edit and I will name it as delete. So I will create another. I haven't yet created a delete action method, so I will create the now the person and I'll pass the same person ID here. So I have to create a delete person action method now. So here I will get the person ID again. So I will return to the view. I will return to the uh, person's collection again after deleting that record. So for that thing I am using the same thing here. Sorry, I forgot to paste the action with the name. Okay public action result delete person action method I'm passing the person ID here and at the end I want to redirect to the display persons view only because I, after deleting the record I just want to show it in the grid again so that's the reason I'm redirecting to that uh, that person display persons view again so here I have to delete the person record from the database table based on this condition based on this person ID so whatever person ID I'm getting here I have to delete that record from the database so for doing that in the uh, using that for doing that you can do it from the entity uh, framework so for that you need to have this context object property again and you need to it's same like first you need to get the record get the record based on that ID so for that thing I'm copying the one which I've done in the edit person again so based on this person ID I will get that record from the database table and now I will just remove that record from the table that's it it's nothing but it will by doing this thing by doing this remove by calling this remove predefined method and passing this person record to that table it will re remove that element from the table so this is the entity framework thing and then after I will save the changes okay so this is nothing but when I come to this action method by, by getting this person ID I will select that person record based on the ID and I will remove that record from the database table and I will save the changes so let's save the changes so here the link is also ready and the action method is also ready and let's check whether it's deleting the person record from the table or not. Let's go 
the display power sum. Okay, I got the delete link also. And before that, I want to have a breakpoint here. Just want to make sure whether it is working as expected. Okay, got it. The person ID is one, so this first record must be deleted now from the database. So let's check whether it's working. Okay, I got that record. Now I have removed that and I'm saving the changes. And I'm again uh, redirecting to the display persons. So display persons view. So here you can see display persons view, and here that record is deleted successfully. So friends, everything is working as expected. It's as simple. I mean, it's nothing but just i want to make sure you know the flow of the mvc application how the uh, data from the database to the mvc application comes and how the data from the mvc application goes to the database just i want to explain you the flow uh, in the mvc application so for that reason i made this video friends and that's it and I, in future i'm planning to make many other videos related to uh, .NET. And if you want to watch many other videos and if you want to get my latest uh, videos and updates notifications, please subscribe to my channel. And also if you like this video, please like, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video as well. Also, if you have any queries, if you have any doubts, please give, uh, post them in the comment section. And if I come to them, I will definitely answer your questions. Thanks a lot for watching my video friends. Thank you. Have a good one.